The front page of Correa de Sport says it all really with regarding Conte's mood at the moment. Conte furious. This was after the 3-2 defeat against Borussia Dortmund. He wasn't pulling any punches in his post-match interview saying we should have planned this season out much, much better. I'm fed up of saying it. We cannot play in Serie A and the Champions League constantly pushed to the limits. I'm really annoyed because we cannot do more than this. Annoyed? We've reached the limit. And then he doubled down. That was the Sky Italia. This was the media set. We are in an emergency situation with only three players injured, whereas other teams have injuries and don't even notice. We notice. We're talking about a group of players who, apart from Godin, haven't won anything. Who do I call on? Nicola Barella, who we signed from Cagliari, or Stefano Sensi, who arrived from Sassuolo. Gab, why is he so angry? Uh, this is how he rolls. I mean, I, there's one explanation, which is that, you know, he's, he gets annoyed because they, they were obviously, they, they had the game in hand, they were winning 2-0, and then they lose. And so he goes and he reads them a riot act. There's others who see this as being more calculated and, you know, wanting money to spend uh, uh, in, in January from the club. You know, either way, I get a strange sense of, of deja vu here, uh, don't you? Yeah, of course, we've seen this before, haven't we, when he's been at other places. I think if I was the club, I'd be pretty annoyed. Well, if you're Nicola Barella and, and Sensi as well, well you'd be annoyed, any of you? would be annoyed. Well, particularly the guys that have actually did okay for him. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, if I'm that player, or either of those players, I think I'm knocking on his door, saying, listen, do you think I can do a job for you or not? They've played 15 games this season. And with what we talk, and I understand he might not have the biggest squad. I get, I get that, right? I get it. But he, and I think Gab said this before. He knew what he was walking into. He knew the challenge. He knew it was going to take time. He knew he wasn't going to get everything he wanted. And we're what? A third at most of the way through the season? Are we saying they're all, they're all cream crackered? They're all knackered. They're all out on their feet already, are they? Gav, and this is a man who, of course, didn't want Nanglin, so they got rid of him. Didn't want Icardi, they got rid of him. Want Lukaku, brought him in, brought in Alexis Sanchez. They brought him in, and still he's moaning. Because, of course, you wanted Dzeko too, right? And uh, those guys that, the, who left, by the way, Cardi Nangolan, you can add Perisic as well, they weren't able to get any money for them, in part because... Conte made it very clear, sort of from day one, nah, I don't want these guys, get rid of them, get me, you know, go and get me this guy and that guy and that guy instead. And I think Inter bent over backwards for him, and, and still, we get the same crap over and over again. Mm. I, I don't know if he's, like, living in, like, the 1990s, but I got news for you. Moratti's gone. You can't go crying uh, and, and hope that, 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 that the owner's just going to cut you a big check, because even if this owner is extremely rich, I'm sorry, Craig, i got to use that word, Financial fair play applies mm. to Inter like it does for, uh, for other clubs. They just got out of the financial fair play regimen. Uh, they can spend a little bit more. They did spend a little bit more over the summer. They broke the transfer record twice over the summer. And this is the reality. Dude, there's a reason you're managing Inter, not Real Madrid or, 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 or Liverpool or whatever else. And that is, in part because of the rep you have. And the real irony in all this is, I wish Conte would remember that he did his finest work. Think back to his first season at Chelsea. Think back to his time with Italy uh, at the Euros. Uh, think back to when he joined Juventus. Uh, and remember that they signed Pirlo, who he didn't want. He did his finest work when he didn't go and, and have 50 superstars. He did his finest work when he went out there. He looked at the guys he had. He figured out how to make it work on the pitch. And guess what? It worked because he's an exceptional coach. But this other stuff and doing it so early in the season and calling out the man, calling out the, 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 the general manager and the club officials saying, hey, maybe these guys should come and talk to you once in a while and explain themselves. I don't know, man. Uh, if this is calculated, it's a miscalculation. If he just lost it because he was upset over the, uh, over the defeat, whatever, deal with it behind closed doors. But, you know, you're washing dirty laundry in public, and this is never a good idea. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.